up rainbow heads welcome back to my channel and happy new year to all of you guys this is our very first episode of the new year i hope you guys had a wonderful holiday if this is your first time here my name is caitlin ford i am an award-winning hair colorist as well as a 10-year veteran hairstylist who specializes in really really weird hair today i am joined by my best friend josh Beauregard. he is volunteered for you guys to model today i've had a ton of requests for short hair and I've been really trying to do the best that I can to accommodate your guys' requests and it's super super helpful when you guys let me know what you're interested in seeing so today we're going to show some rainbow color on some short hair today as well as a dude so that you guys can see that yes we can do fun hair color on guys as well um so yeah i'm so excited to have josh on I today i am honored to be here yes. with the caitlin ford <laughs> i've known caitlin for a really long time i've seen her at the beginning of her journey like fresh out of hair school and just seeing the things she's been able to do and accomplish is amazing. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> and it's such an honor for her to be working her magic on me today. Yay, I'm so honored to have you here. Thank so you. Excited. This is the first time that I've had somebody else on the show or whatever you want to call it on my YouTube channel. So I'm just really excited that you're going to be my, my first one and, and that you, you volunteered to be my victim yes. today. And what's really cool about today's, uh, today's video too is this is the very first video of the year, um, which is Happy awesome. Happy 2020. Yay! Yes, yes, happy 2020, you guys. We actually have a little Ooh, um, little mimosa action here because we wanted to like loosen up for the camera. So cheers to 2020. I hope you guys had wonderful holidays and all of that fun stuff. So we're going to get started with some really, really cool transformations. So new year, new you, right? I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Yes. As you guys can see here, we've got a little bit of regrowth action in here that we need to address before we can put that, that nice rainbow on. He used to be platinum. Um, I actually know Josh because his boyfriend is um, one of my very best friends as well. We met in cosmetology school. So that's who usually does his, does Josh's hair. And he's, Hi, Michael. he's cheating on his boyfriend with me today. So that's really exciting. The last time that Michael did his hair, he toned his hair a little bit darker than you. Usual. So we're going to go ahead and pull that toner out as well as lighten his roots. So we're going to get started with that first and then we'll do the fun colors after that. Yes. Yes. We are going to Red Lobster after this. <laughs> we're about to do a giant lobster mukbang here. Well, if we're going to do a mukbang of Red Lobster, I'll probably just eat the cheddar biscuits <laughs> and that's about it. So we're going to start from down under here. I always like to start at the bottom whenever I'm bleaching just because usually hair lifts a little bit slower in the back than it does in the front. Usually hair in the front of people's heads is a little bit finer, so it makes it a little easier to bleach out. Josh has like the perfect texture as well as natural color for lightening. He's probably a natural level seven. That's what I like to hear. So Sorry, I'm really hard. bad at lightening. No, you're okay. You're okay. Most people's heads like drift whenever you're doing their hair. It's so funny. I think that every hairdresser can relate to that. Mm. Like I've had clients even like drift off to sleep while I'm doing their hair. It's so hilarious. Like I'll be doing their hair and I don't even realize they've fallen asleep until their head just like, <laughs> like that. It's the funniest thing. I drift head because like you'll be, someone will be talking to someone who's like trying to look back at yeah, you yeah. and it's like, I'm just trying to look at you when I'm talking to you. Yep. The other clients that I get are, um, they have like a, like just a bobbing head every time. Like they're very animated with their head when oh, they yeah. talk. So right. like I'll be going to like put a foil on and they're talking and it's literally like their head is like going like this, just like all over the place while they're talking. So I'm like chasing their head around with the foil, yeah. like trying to put it in. I always like the color of the bleach, like that light purpley blue color. Oh yeah. Like I always thought it was pretty. Yeah. The annoying thing about blue bleach like this is it's it Sometimes kind it'll of turn tricks blue. you. It, well, it doesn't hurt to turn your hair blue, but like when it's sitting on, sometimes like especially when you're going platinum, it can trick you into thinking oh, that, that it's done when it's, it's not. done when it's not done, you know. Mm. But platinum is always tricky for that that reason, and that's why you know you like Michael has found that he's had to bleach your hair twice, and right. we'll probably have to bleach your hair twice today mm -hmm. um, because it, it's almost like it gets to almost platinum and then it stops and yep. then won't go any further until you bleach it again. It's right. the craziest thing ever. Platinum is just like a pain in the. I have to say, like, not everyone is meant to be platinum. It's true. It's a lot of up upkeep, too. Oh, yes. I think I'm getting, my hair is starting to thin. Is it? I think so. 
I need to get on Propecia. Yeah, definitely get on something preventative. Mm -hmm. I just don't have the face for a bald head. Well, if I went bald, I would just probably, I would like get some really cool wigs. Yeah. For yeah. sure. There's starting to be like more options available for men um, who are losing hair. Actually, you know, now, now that we're talking about it, I'm going to go ahead and insert a little video clip over here. Um, <laughs> one of my friends, his name is uh, Phil. Philip Ring, he is a fabulously talented hairstylist and he actually has started uh, working with this company called Hair Skeen. They do these amazing hair toppers for, for guys who are losing hair and it's an amazing hair replacement system. Um, so yeah, if you guys have ever seen this video over here, it's, it's gone super viral all over the internet. There are like these really great natural looking options for guys coming out as far as like hair pieces and stuff goes. So nice. definitely something to think about. We're here for you. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's like with, with guys hair, you know, so much of the focus, like with beauty in general is about women. And, you know, I feel like, especially nowadays, like beauty has become so much di more diverse as far as like who it's being offered to and everything like that. So it's so great to see like a lot of these products come out that are geared towards men because, you know, women have always had like extensions and lace front wigs and like all this stuff. And it's like, why wouldn't guys want to have that stuff too? I want know? a lace front wig. Right. <laughs> So it's awesome that it's like become more acceptable, but also there's like more of an innovation in the types of products that are being offered towards men. How long like does this normally would take, like if you were in the salon doing this, what you're doing to me, like how long like would that take just like from start to finish? I would say um, in the salon, this would probably take me about three hours start to finish. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so we have our bleach applied here, and so now we're just gonna give it some time, let it cook. Everybody always asks like how long the bleach is supposed to sit on for. With bleach, it's not an exact processing time. It's more about just watching and waiting and letting it get to where it's gonna go. So that's what we're gonna do, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. It's a little surprise, always a surprise. <laughs> okay, you guys, so we've got Josh's beautiful Freshly bleached roots right here. There is still a little bit of toner on the ends as we talked about in the beginning So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a little bit of bleach over his ends um, And for the ends we're just going to use 10 volume I use 20 volume on his roots So we'll do like 10 volume on his ends just to make sure we don't fry his hair Then after that we're going to cut his hair and we will head into the color right after that Okay, you guys, so we are on to the very last phase of our hair coloring the journey exciting today. Phase. The, the best part, it's what we have worked so hard to get towards. Yes. So we've got our beautiful, clean, light canvas here. And so now what we're going to do, the plan is, we are going to go ahead and part off this triangle section right here. And my plan is that I'm going to do these like lines of rainbow color through that section. And what that's going to do is when Josh pulls his hair to the side here, he'll have rainbow colors that kind of sweep over the top of his hair and kind of break apart. And then you should be able to see these rainbow stripes right at the hairline here, which should look super cute. He could flip his hair over. But it's going to be a way for him to kind of wear his hair two different ways and get two different looks out of it. Two so, in one. Yes. Two for one. Yes. So, and then on the outside of the triangle section, what we're going to do is I have this color mixed up here. So this is very similar to what I used in my inverted hair color wig. If you guys saw that, this is just going to help to tone his blonde and make it look white in the final result. And these are the rainbow colors that I mixed up here. Super excited about this. So it's going to be more of like a pastel rainbow. As you can see, there is no orange here. The reason why I don't really like to do orange when I'm doing like a pastel rainbow like this with really, really pale colors is I have found like in between the yellow and the pink when I put like a really pale orange in there, it almost blends in too much with the pink and it just makes the pink look like there's too much pink in it. Um, so that's why I kind of skipped the orange, but it'll still look nice and rainbowy with just these colors. So, and away we go. 
<laughs> so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paint the, um, the white toning color on first because that'll help me kind of lay all the rest of the hair down and make it really easy to kind of work around this section. So that's what we're going to do first. You know, it's kind of funny too, cause with all the like wild looks and stuff that are out there these days with like hair and makeup and nails and all these things, I almost feel like this is kind of the second wave of like seeing kids, oh, you yeah. know? Like it's almost like a resurgence of that, but like being done in like a little bit more of like a tasteful way yeah. nowadays. And I saw this meme the other day called the Roaring, the Roaring oh, yes. 20s. I'm like, it is, it's gonna be the Roaring That's so funny. Like, I yeah. know, that reminds me like I had like a mixed CD, like back Back when people made mix CDs before Spotify and Apple Music and stuff, when you had to put it on a CD. One of my CDs was called Rawlicious, like oh R A W R. God. You know, it's so funny. Hilarious. You know, just being so fun. So random, just being so random. Yeah, so just random. random. <laughs> I'm here for it, honestly. Yeah, I was, why not? I was definitely a total scene kid back in the day, or a scene wannabe anyway. Sure. I, was all, I, was so I feel obsessed. like most of us were poser wannabes, uh -huh, and yeah. like. Not very, very many people were actually Right, definitely that. not MySpace level scene kid yeah. by any means. I mean, we all tried it. We all yeah. took our like, you know, our cameras and put them up real high and like made a pouty face right. to the side. But okay. then you have to like post like the most, you know, insane lyric under it. Like yes. Hawthorne Heights lyrics or something. <laughs> really get your emotion through. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because like my scene phase is almost the thing that kind of like got me into doing hair in mm. the first place because when I was, I would um, save up money and I would buy like um, hair extensions online, like clip-in hair extensions mm -hmm. and I would color them like pink and black myself. Oh, yeah. Did and, you ever like, do that? What was it? Like, was it raccoon or yeah, like the raccoon oh, like yeah. like strip of yes. hair yeah yes. mm -hmm. remember those oh, yeah I was obsessed with that. I loved coontails. And then there was the, you know, the bang, uh -huh. like the bit, like the The big bang. swoopy bang. Mm -hmm. Like oh, the puffed yeah. up, like the hair was yeah. like big the volume. More, the more gotta be blue, the better. Oh yeah, and just like seeing girls with like the black hair, oh, with yeah. the crazy teased hair sprayed yep, hair. Yep. Like if someone lights a match next to you, girl, you're gone. Right, and you almost had to like cut your hair yourself. Oh yeah. Really no hairdresser. Would do it. Would right. do The that. same way, no. <laughs> I only want one inch bangs okay yes. they're like no I, I won't do that for yeah. you yeah I'm gonna show you guys the sectioning real quick here so you guys can see we've got one two three four and five and I want the rainbow to start on this side so we'll have pink yellow green blue and then violet right here so we're gonna start violet and then work backwards towards our very first section there for any of you guys wondering why I'm not wearing gloves it's because working in these like little meticulous sections like this for me it's just easier to not be wearing gloves so I'm not wearing gloves right now so don't yell at me how long would you say like does the color lasts because I know you say they kind of they can fade yeah. and stuff like that like how long would you say is like a normal like so these lifespan? pastel these pastel colors are like this will fade pretty quickly with mm -hmm. especially with how pastel these ones are mm -hmm. so I'd say these are gonna last a total of about four weeks or so okay. um, if you want more longevity out of it just do deeper deeper colors you know because they'll get more pastel as you wash and mm -hmm. wear them So as you guys can see, there's plastic in the way, which you guys will get a really good peel reveal here Ooh. in a little bit. Um, but all those little rainbow stripes right here. So that's our that's our placement. So we'll let it process for 20 minutes and rinse it out, and we'll come back and show you guys the big reveal. Yeah, well, so we'll excited. Do, yeah, we'll do the peel first, and then we'll we'll reveal it for you guys. So. Let's okay, hope you guys like it. Yes, they'll love it. I think you're going to love it. Yay! I already love it. I'm so excited about it. Okay, you guys. So it's been 20 minutes now, and we are ready to peel and reveal. So here we go. Yes. <laughs>
All right, you guys. So here is our big reveal of Josh's beautiful. I'm officially a rainbow yes, head now. You so are a here I right am. We're, we're cheetah girls, cheetah sisters. Yeah, cheetah right, sisters. You know, that's what happens. <laughs> we didn't even plan our outfits no. coordinated. This just like Fate. happens. Yeah, Fate. yeah. Yeah, no, it's perfect. Cheetah, rainbow. There we go, or, perfect match. Yeah, you're match like the, you're like the pastel cheetah rainbow, and yeah. I'm like the gothy yeah, green like, cheetah rainbow. Yeah, like I'm so excited. I about love this. it, and what a journey it's been. Yeah, it's like it looks so good. Yes, it's and been such it's, a fun day. It has. It's been an honor for you to do my hair, and I really appreciate <laughs> you. you doing this. Guys, please let me know if you want to have Josh back on. I mean, I think that you guys are going to love Josh, so I Hope think there's so. pretty much no question that you guys are going to want Josh back on, and you're going to want to see more fun hair looks on Josh. Yes. Um, but just to let us know, please leave a yes, comment please. down below if you want to see Josh again, and also if you guys could leave some extra love for Josh, let him know how awesome he was today oh, for you. volunteering to be our model, and how adorable he yes. looks in his rainbow hair. I'm just so excited yes, about it. Yes, it looks so good. I'm so excited. Yeah, about it. I love the way that it looks like going this way too. Like right. I thought I was going to like it I know, it yeah. There's a change the in plan way, of the style. But I actually like it parted better this yeah, way. Yeah, it looks so good. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. And remember, guys, hair, hair completes, completes the look. look. I'll see you later, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>